So let's talk about else if statements in PHP. So we've talked about if statements in PHP and if else statements in PHP. Basically what else if statements do is they check to see if other conditions are true before you default out to, to the else. So basically with if, you may say if, you know, dollar sign age is greater than 18, do something else, do something else. But what if you want to check for multiple conditions? So what we're going to show you in the script today is we're going to say only people within a certain age group are allowed to enter a website. So if they're below a certain age, they're too young. If they're above a certain age, they're too old else they're allowed to go into the web page. And so basically what else if does, it is allows you to query against additional conditions to see if they are true before you default out to whatever the else uh, line of code is. So with that, let's go over to the computer so I can kind of show you how this works. So this is a very simple script to look at an age that is given and to say whether or not that the person can enter a website. So basically, is it an appropriate age? Uh, so we've called this elseif.php, and we've opened up, up with a standard PHP tag. We have then created the variable age, dollar sign age, and we have set it to the value of 17 for this first instance, and of course you do the semicolon. We then do print your age is and the value of age. So again, this is going to show us what the current age is just to make sure that we don't get confused with what the value is. Uh, then we're going to print a break. And again, this is for an HTML, so it breaks to a new line in the web browser, and so it's easier to read. Now past this, it looks like a standard if-else statement, but with an additional else if in the middle. So we have if, and then we do parentheses, the value for the variable age is less than 18. Then we do the uh, open, the, the squiggly bracket, and then what we're going to say is print you too young, and with a semicolon, and then we're going to close this out with a closing squiggly bracket. Then what we're going to do, is, so this is if age is less than 18, you're too young. But then what we're also going to say is else if, so this is all one word, so it's all written together, and then you're going to do space, and the same thing, parentheses, the value of age is greater than 65, close parentheses, open squiggly bracket, print, you're too old. So if you're below 18, it's going to print you too young. If it's above 65, it's going to print you're too old. Then we close with the squiggly brackets again. And then finally, we have else, so else. So if this is true, do this. Else, if this is true, do this. If neither of these are true, then else, do this. We open the squiggly bracket, then we say print, you can enter, and then we close the squiggly bracket. So this is how you can use else if to add additional conditions. And this is one of the things that makes programming a little difficult for people, is trying to figure out how to design if and else statements, if, else, else, if statements, how to design all of this stuff so that it actually makes sense and is easy to code. So for here, what we're looking for is, you know, what we're looking for is to enter the positive is you can enter. But in order to get to the positive, you have to make sure they're not too young and make sure they're not too old. So trying to lay out these kind of statements can be a little bit confusing to people. And it's more, it's more the logical issue. Actually, writing this obviously is easy, but it's the logically where do you position things in the if and else if and else statements that can be confusing. And then finally, what we do is we close out uh, the PHP and it's done. So this is all saved. We go to Chrome, we go to Silicon Dojo, we then go to else if, and so your age is 17, so this shows us what the value of the variable is, and so it says you too young. Now if we go here and we change this to let's say 66, we do file, we do save, we go else if, we upload again, we go up here, we refresh, now it says your age is 66, you're too old. 
Now, if we want to make it sure it's just right, we go in, we plug in 43. So 43 is above 18, and 43 is below 65. So if everything is right, it should print that we are able to enter. Upload again, and then we refresh. Your age is 43. You can enter. So that's basically how an if else if statement is written you can put multiple else ifs in here so you could have one if another uh, then an else if then another else if then another else if but you do have to be a little careful with how you do do that because it can get very confusing very quickly so that's all there is to else if statements in PHP. It looks like a normal if else statement. You just basically add additional questions in there. Is this true? Well, how about this? Well, how about this? Well, how about this? Well, what about this? Right? And it keeps going through until the condition is true, and then it does whatever that is that, that you have the code in there. So this is basically multiple ways uh, to qu query uh, to see what a condition is, uh, to see if something should run. So again, like with this, if you're below a certain age, uh, then you shouldn't be able to get in. If you're above a certain age, you shouldn't be able to get in. You can only get in if you're in the right space. Now, the main things that makes else if statements confusing is not actually writing an else if statement. As you can see, the code for an else if statement is, is really simple. Again, if something is true, then everything between the squiggly brackets runs. So whether that's dumping information into a database, whether it's sending out an email using the mail function, uh, whether it's printing out something on the screen, you could have one line of code, you could have a thousand lines of code, but realistically, that's actually rather simple. What gets confusing for people is how to write the else if statements in the proper way. Like, are you, you know, there, there's, there's, there's ways that people think about the question is, is are you between this and this? And some ways in order to see, it, are you between 18 to 65? One way you can ask that question is, are you younger than 18 and are you older than 65 and if both of those are negative then by by default you are within the, the proper age group so the main thing that makes these kind of statements confusing isn't actually the statement itself or the code it's more the mental gymnastics you have to go through to figure out what you're really trying to ask and how you can get that information out of that code so that's all an else if statement is and that's why it matters